What is up guys, Fixin today doing a really quick video. Today I'm going to show you how to add a ripple effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Now before I get started with the video, I want to quickly say if there's any suggestions you have for videos, please put that in the comments below, that would be really appreciated. As I often don't know what to post and what kind of videos you guys want to see. So any suggestions, I read all of your comments, please put them down below. Now let's get on with the video. So this is the effect I'm going to show you how to make. Now this isn't the best clip to use because he obviously only fires three shots. It does work better on a clip where you fire more, but you also want to try and get one with a slower firing gun. That is why I've used the Gorgon here. Something like the Pharaoh or the VMP might not work so well just because it is such a fast firing weapon. You won't really see the effect that much. So once you've got your clip, your gameplay, uh, this is mine here. I'll just play this through. This is just the ordinary clip, nothing done to it, and that's it. What you want to do is go and on each of the bullets, uh, like bullet hits, put a uh, split the clip. So find where there's the muzzle explosion, there's this orangey glow bit, and then split, and then go along. Now there should be the same amount of frames for each, so this is uh, five for me. So what you can do is just, like say I'm at to this one, Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then just hit S to split your uh, track. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, split. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, split. And you can just do that all the way along until you've gotten all the muzzle flat, all the shots are out. Now, once you've done that, this, this may take a while if you have a longer clip. That is why one with uh, like less bullets is better. But obviously, three or four isn't that many. So it really is depending on your clip. I've, I've tried a lot of other clips with this and it just hasn't worked that well. So you really do have to kind of find the right clip to use. Now before we go any further, you make sure, right click on properties and make sure disable resample is checked. You need to do this for all of your clips. So you should probably do that step before you start splitting up all your tracks because it will take a very long time to do if you've already split them up. Now. Once you split it up like this, you want to right click here and just hit insert video track so you'll have an empty video track above it. Now you want to go on a hold control and click on all of the muzzle flashes, uh, all the shots fired here. And just don't, make sure you don't click on the end two uh, or the rest of your clips, just these ones here. I, I have four, although you probably have quite a bit more depending on the clip you use. This also works on sniper clips, just like one shot and I'll just have one big slow pulse. That works really well as well. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. Just want to drag this up into the new layer. Now what I did there is I held control and dragged and what can holding control will do is when you drag it, it will duplicate it into the new track. So once you've done that, you want to again, select them all by holding control and then just put a fade in across all of them like that. They should all be even a fade across like that. Now leave them selected, don't deselect them and go over to Transitions and find where it says Iris. Now you, what you want to do where it says Iris here is just find this one, Circle Out White Border. And then once you've found that, drag that onto one of these four, or you might have more than four. And because they're all selected, it will apply to all of them. Now you want to just um, make the feather like so. Uh, just like that and what this will do is you can see it adds the effect as a ripple out now you have to go and do the feather on each of these individually which is a bit unfortunate you don't have to do this feather step but it does look uh, a ton better if you do it so feather just like that and put it all the way to max and then once you have done that if you go through frame you'll see this circle like pulses out and that's going to be our ripple now once you've got that you want to click over here um, this is your compos compositing mode you want to just click select custom and then you just want to hit sony displacement map uh, sorry <laughs> sony height map actually make sure it's sony height map and just hit add and then ok now this is your ripple if we go to say halfway through the clip here and you can see this is your ripple effect here so what you want to do is where it says transparent background just click wrap pixels around and then alpha ch alpha channel scales rgb channels just check that now i like to put these down to about one and a half and then this down to about 0 
And you can you can mess around with this as much as you like. Uh, get it how you want. Now this is the main thing is smoothness. The higher the number, the less visible the effect will be. The lower the number, the more visible the effect will be. So I usually like to have this at about 20. You could change around if you want. It really is up to you. But the main two things you want to uh, see how you like are elevation and smoothness. Now you can mess around with this as much as you really like. And now if we play that back now, there you go. You have your pulsing effect. So all you have to do now is just uh, select your footage, uh, select all of it like this, and we're going to render it now. Okay, so now we have rendered it. Let's open it. So you can see it runs through, and there you go. That is your effect. It's a very simple effect, quite subtle, but does work really, really well. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If there's any other suggestions or other videos you'd like to see, please put them in the comments below. And of course, with this effect, you can pair it with other things, like magic bullet looks or just any other really plugin you want. You can pair it with that and just get some really nice effects for your montages. So that is pretty much it, guys. Please uh, hope tell me if you've enjoyed this video by leaving a like or even a subscribe. That would be really appreciated. And any problems you have or any questions you can put them in the comments i do read all of your comments that'll be really appreciated so that's pretty true guys like comment subscribe hope you've enjoyed this really quick video and see you in the next one bye guys